Hello everybody, welcome back to Team Yidi's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on this great game called Real VR Fishing. It is one of my all-time favorite games. Take a look at this. A huge shark. I'll catch it right at the end of this episode, so stick around. You're not going to want to miss it. First thing, this game is just like real fishing. A lot of waiting. There's a lot of waiting in this game, and that's okay because it's not supposed to be exciting all the time. It's supposed to bring you that experience as if you're really fishing. And that's what it gives you. It gives you that full VR experience where you're immersed in these beautiful locations. Take a look at this one. Right now, it looks like we're in California somewhere on this newest DLC content package that they just released. It is amazing. It has like 20 maps. It's beautiful. Now, one thing about this game, is that you have two rods. You have a bait rod and then you have a lure rod. You can choose between the two, whichever you prefer. Lure rods, a little bit more exciting as you go throughout the game. You can constantly reel in. You can manipulate the bait so it goes left, right, up, down. You can do anything you can as if it was real fishing. Then when you go to the bait fishing, it's a little bit more relaxed for those of you who just want to enjoy catching a fish and sitting back, watching the scenery watching all the cool effects. Sometimes there's things going on in the background that happen at different times. Look at this. I just got a fish on. I love it when that happens. It's so exciting. It's like everything just kicks into gear. You got a fish. You got to reel it really quick. Right now what you're seeing is I'm on expert mode right now. And so I don't have the goggles on. When you're on easy mode you have these goggles that will actually show you where the fish is. And when you're on hard mode, the goggles go away, but it still gives you some tips on which way to move the reel left, right, up, down, those types of things. And then expert mode, it's just like fishing. It gives you no help, except for the line. The line goes red and blue. When it goes red, that means you need to let go, relax, let the fish take a little bit. When it's blue, you gotta reel it in quick so you don't lose the fish. Just like fishing. You have to feel it. Take a look at this. I got a mini shark. Not what I'm after. I'm after a giant shark in this episode, which I will eventually get. But when you come home from work, after a long day, you just want to relax. You don't want to go out and shoot zombies. You don't want to have to do any puzzles. You just want to sit back, catch some fish and relax. This is the perfect game for you. Look at that. Another fish on. I don't think this is a shark, but this is a big fish. You can tell when you have a big fish when you have a bite and you go to pull it in and then it just takes your line all the way out to the end. If you're liking the video so far, go ahead, take a moment and subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up if you really, really like it, okay? This is going to help us grow and get to more audience. I'll go ahead and pause here for just a moment. Excellent guys, thank you so much for all your support. Take a look at this, it's a wahoo. You can do two things after every fish that you catch. You can either release it or keep it. When you keep it, you get some credits which you could use in the store to buy more things. When you release it, you get experience. When you get high experience, you can get up to level 20. Level 20 is the maximum in this game. When you're at level 20, things are a little bit easier for you. When you go and catch sharks at a lower level, it's much more difficult. And the main thing is you want to get sharks. Sharks are really cool in this game. It's like the ultimate rush, the ultimate achievement, and then the hardest things to catch. They take quite some time. Look at this. Here's some nibble on my line right now, but I don't think the fish is going to take it. It might, it might not. That's nothing about this. They don't always take. All right, fish on. Excellent. Going back to the credits. When you do get a lot of credits accumulated, you can buy new things, you can buy new rods. Uh, there's three types of rods, rod A, B, and C. Rod A is the highest level. When you are trying to catch sharks, rod A, real A, you wanna use those because they go the farthest distance. Rod C is like the beginners, where you wanna catch a small fish. If you do happen to catch a shark on rod C and real C, you're gonna have a mighty hard time to bring it in. It's likely gonna break a line. So, highly advised to use Rod A. Looking at the screen right now, you'll see I'm searching through all the fish that you can catch in this map. You can do that in every map. Take a look at it. 
If you're searching for a specific fish, you definitely want to check that out in each map that you go to. That way you don't waste your time trying to catch something that you're never going to catch. It also tells you what type of food the fish likes, whether it's a lure or it's a bait. And when you go to the store, you can select what types of bait you want. You have about six selections of bait and there's three different levels of those baits. There's like a beginner and then a medium and then an expert one. Uh, the expert one is clearly going to be the more expensive ones, like $250 for just a few pieces of bait. But it's definitely worth it. You're more likely to catch some exotic fish, higher level fish, worth lots more money, which you could just buy more bait with that money. Another thing about this, talking about the money, is that when you're on easy mode, you don't get a lot of money. When you're on hard mode, you get a little bit more money. When you're on expert mode, you get the most money. So I'd highly encourage you guys to all switch over to expert mode. Yeah, it is a little bit more challenging, but the payoff is way better. And even if you go to like a river or something like that in expert mode where you don't want to catch sharks because it's more challenging, you can still get a lot of money in the rivers catching smaller fish. They're much easier. And the size of the fish, it doesn't really matter because any real fisherman will tell you the worst day of fishing is the best day ever. Whether that's small or large fish, a fish is a fish. All right, guys, we're getting close to the end. Right about here is where I get my first nibble. And then right about here is where you'll see the shark jump up and take my fish. It's okay though. There we go. I got a shark on, guys. This is exciting. This is one of the hardest fish to catch and it takes so much time. I'm going to fast forward through this because it will literally take me like 15 minutes to reel this shark in. What happens is as you're finding this thing, it goes from left side of the map all the way to the right side. It comes in close. It goes out far. This is really, really hard to catch. So be prepared. It's going to end up hurting your wrists a little bit as you reel this thing in. It's going to do some jumps. Very entertaining, very exciting, but you are going to absolutely love it once you do it. I'd highly encourage you to keep your shark and put it in your aquarium when you catch it and reel it all the way in. Here we go. I almost have it in. There it is. Look at that, guys. That's a Mako shark. All right, guys. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. See you next time.